Hello friends, welcome back to India for IS. This is Manjunath Mudol. Topic of this video is Gustinado. It is an atmospheric phenomenon which was in news recent. This topic falls under GS1 paper Geography. So within Geography, the subtopic is Climatology. So this topic is a part of Climatology. And uh, this topic is important with respect to prelims. 2024-25. In this video, we are going to study about what are gustinadoes, their formation, characteristics, their appearance, and the comparison between gustinadoes and tornadoes. So recently, gustinado it caused a havoc in Kerala's Trishur. So the twisters and heavy rains they cause damage in several areas of the Trishur district. Now we will briefly study about what are gustinadoes. So gustinadoes are short-lived, low-level atmospheric phenomena. So they are they are restricted to the few hundred meters within the troposphere, not more than that. And these gustinadoes they form along the gust front of a thunderstorm or downburst. So they are characterized by swirling winds. So and they form along the gust front of a thunderstorm and downburst. So they are not two tornadoes but in appearance they look like tornadoes so coming to the formation of gust tornadoes they form in association with strong thunderstorm outflows or downdrafts so all of you know that so what thunderstorm is so along the edges or outflow region and downdrafts of the thunderstorm gust tornadoes are formed so typically they occur along the leading edge of the that is gust front of a thunderstorm where horizontal wind speeds are strongest so these are the feature so where the horizontal winds are strongest there we can see the formation of gustinadoes so the appearance of the gustinadoes we can see in the upcoming slide so coming to the characteristics of the gustinado in comparison to tornadoes gustinadoes are small and weak and the wind speeds of gustinadoes does not exceed E0 sorry EF0 on the enhanced Fujita scale. So this enhanced Fujita scale it is being used to measure the wind speed in tornadoes. Coming to their appearance, they look like a rotating cloud or a dust whirl near the ground. So image of the gust tornado we can see in the upcoming slide. One major difference between tornadoes and gust tornadoes is that. Gush tornadoes they form from vertically rotating air within the storms of draft, whereas gush tornadoes they form from the rotation of rotation from the horizontal wind shear along the gust front. So in the following image we can see the gush tornado and tornado. So this is the visual difference between the gush tornado and tornado. So gush tornado they form from the vertically rotating air within their strong of draft. Whereas gust tornado they form from the horizontal wind speed. So coming to the duration and impact of the gust tornadoes, gust tornadoes are short lived. They usually last only for few minutes to half an hour, and they dissipate quickly. So coming to their impact, they can cause minor damages such as knocking down of trees, damage in small structures, and uh, kicking up dust and debris from the ground. So generally they are not as destructive as true tornadoes, but can still Pose hazards to the people and property in their paths, as happened in the Trishur district of Kerala. So this is all about gust tornado, their characters, their formation, and uh, duration and impact. So now we will focus on major difference between tornadoes and gust tornadoes. So coming to the formation, tornadoes they form from vertically rotating air within a supercell of thunderstorms of draft in association with strong mesocyclones. Whereas gust tornadoes they form along the gust front of a thunderstorm or downburst. They derive their rotation from the horizontal wind shear near the ground. So here it is horizontal wind shear. Here is it is vertically rotating air within a supercell of thunderstorm. So coming to the structure for tornadoes, we have well defined funnel shaped cloud extending from the base of a thunderstorm to the ground with intense rotating winds. Whereas for gust tornadoes. Rotating cloud, dust whirl near the ground with a more disorganized structure. So, gust tornado it has a more disorganized structure and weaker winds compared to the tornadoes. 
So coming to size and strength of a tornado, their size can range from few tens of meters to over a kilometer in width, with wind speeds varying from EF0, that is weakest, to EF5, that is strongest on enhanced Fujita scale. Whereas bush tornadoes, they are typically smaller and weaker with wind speeds generally not exceeding EF0 on enhanced Fujita scale. Coming to duration, tornadoes, they can last from few seconds to more than an hour depending on intensity and path of the tornadoes. Whereas bush tornadoes, they are short lived, usually lasting for few minutes to half an hour. With respect to appearance, the tornadoes, they appear like a distinct funnel shape extending from cloud base to the ground, often with debris and well-defined rotating updraft. So the tornadoes, it looks like this. So this is the cloud base. From cloud base till ground, it has a vertical updraft of air. Coming to the appearance of the bush tornado, it has a swirling cloud or dust whirl near the ground without well-defined or well-defined funnel. So it doesn't have a funnel-like structure like this. It will be haphazard like this. So coming to the damage potential, these tornadoes have a more damaging potential compared to the ghost tornadoes, whereas ghost tornadoes, they, call, they cause minor damages. So this is all about the comparison between ghost tornado and tornado. So based on the topic that we have discussed so far, here we have provided one claims practice question based on comparison between tornadoes and ghost tornadoes. This question contains five statements. Go through all the statements and comment your answer. The answer in detail explanation for this question is available in the PDF handout, which you can download by joining our Telegram channel. The Telegram channel also, the PDF also contains the detailed notes of this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, happy learning.